Alrighty y'all, Lou here from Beyond Bounce. It's channel geared towards bass fishing and gear review. So if you like that sort of thing, click that subscribe button up top. Let's get into today's topic, which is talking about the point one system, the Lowrance GPS system that I've installed on my boat and some of the issues that I've had with the install. Okay, so power. That's something that not a lot of people in a lot of their videos ever talk about. Why? Because the backbone of the NEMA, there's plenty of videos out there and it's really easy to understand that. You basically take your T connectors and put T connectors against T connectors. And then even if you need to, you can run a wire in between those T connectors to another T connector. Um, plenty of videos out there, I'm not gonna get into that. You also need uh, caps or ohm resistors for the ends, terminators. Again, plenty of videos out there about utilizing a NEMA network and setting one up, and it's pretty easy to set up. Uh, one of the issues that I ran into was power, and not a lot of people talk about power. So, you know, I ran the power straight to my battery and straight to my cranking battery, which is 12 volt, it's AGM 31, um, and I used connectors to go over that. But for some reason, my Lowrance wasn't recognizing that. I don't know. Um, maybe this is the issue you are having. Maybe this isn't an issue at all for you. But this was an issue for me. And you know, my backbone of my network was set up properly. So I basically had to start taking things apart. I disconnected the power from the back. Now, I actually think setting it up to the, to the back would probably still work. Uh, however, um, one, the other issue that I ran into was that one of my plugs on the back of my Lowrance unit was uh, bent. So, you know, that could have been, I don't know, but that could have been throwing the whole system off. So if you're having an issue, maybe check that because when I got power run into the system and I took this one, one off, it started working. So now I'm gonna run this one back into the system, see if it fires up and recognizes the point one because before that, nothing was recognizing the point one. And I don't know if that one single bent uh, prong inside of here was the issue, but that could be an issue that you're having. So make sure that you check these connectors. And if you need to know how they're supposed to look, you know, it's just a little five star kind of thing, but look at, look at the one, one end, compare it to the end that's in there, and you'll be able to kind of finagle it enough to where you can get it to, to sink down on there. And hopefully that'll be your issue. Now, for hooking up power, the one thing I was able to do by taking this all apart and actually by taking the underside of my console apart was I was able to get in there and look around. I noticed that there were two wires on there that said accessory. And, and so there were two power wires, a black and a red, and your power cord for your NEMA connectors, your NEMA network is a black and a red with a, a fuse on the red line. and. I was able to plug directly into that underneath my console and get power to my point one, get it to recognize on my HDS. Now let's plug in the rest of these and see if we can't get it to recognize on the rest of these. All right, here we go. Moment of truth. TI is firing up. Boom. I just recognized the TI on my HDS nine. I didn't expect that to happen. So that tells me that it's probably working and I can see that it's reading. So that is actually a way to network both of these devices and share waypoints across them. I didn't know that you could do that. Matter of fact, everything that I read and heard was, oh, you can't network a TI-9 to an HDS-9. Um, and I think what people are really talking about there is essentially you can't use the yellow ethernet cord like I have right here and connect them. You can connect an HDS9 and another HDS9 or probably 12 and, and above with ethernet cords. Um, but between these two, there is no ethernet connection on the back of the TI-9. Disclaimer two, I'm a noob. I'm just figuring this stuff out. That's part of why you want to add the GPS, the point one GPS, because one, it orients the boat uh, in the right position. So that way, if you're drifting back, it's the boat still orienting forward to the, to the front of the boat, the bow. Uh, the other part is that it updates many more times a second. I've heard five times, I've heard 10 times. I don't know, I just know it does. And that's good enough for me. So let's see here, 
now that I fixed that one prong back there, network, yeah, I mean, the other test I can do is to take that power cord now, run it right back to the back, and I think I might do that just for experimental, you know, maybe it'll make this video a little bit better, um, but that way I'll know if that was the issue all along, if it was simply just that one prong in the back of this TI-9 that I had bent over trying to install that. I'm going, so right now what I'm doing, uh, you kind of can't see it, but I'm in the settings, I'm under network, I'm hitting the diagnostics and it comes up NEMA 2000. You'll see that it says bus state on. If that bus state, bus state, if that bus state is off, then you're definitely not getting a network connection. I can send receive and transmit messages, you know, totaling up into the high tens of thousands, so you're good. That means you're getting good connections and you're transmitting and receiving. If there's only a one-way connection on that, you're doing something wrong, something's off. Um, and like I said, that bus state up there will be off too. The next thing you can do, <laughs> this is just me playing around with my old lance. I have not read this online anywhere. Come up here to system, there's satellites right there, down at the bottom of satellites, GPS source, and voila, we have got point ones on both of these HDS9s. Now I've got another HDS9 up at the front, so what I'm gonna come and do here is I'm gonna take this extra T and I'm going to add it right in the middle of that already T-junction network and then I'm gonna run a 15-foot cord up to the front because the horizontal is what carries your backbone the vertical is what carries your unit. So this unit has a vertical and a T, this unit has a vertical and a T, the point one GPS antenna in the back has its own T. Actually back there it has a uh, terminator and then another 15 foot cord running between th that T and this group of T's right here. I should not need a T for the front since they only have one unit. Now if I had two units up there, I would probably need two T's, uh, simply because each unit will get its own T and you would have to run the, um, the line all the way up. Or I could probably do the two T's back here amongst this T group that's there and just run two 15 foot cords up there. But each thing has to have its T, has to come into the top of this uh, T right here. You know what, let's unplug the power source that I have under here because I didn't connect it, I actually just utilized some, some, some extra line that I had and uh, kind of just taped it to the little prong connectors that I have for the battery in the back. So just to see if it would work before I went ahead and spliced it all in. But let's get back there, let's put these connectors back on the battery and see if that doesn't work. All right y'all, so I hope this helps you troubleshoot problems with your NEMA 2000. Again, the problem and issue that I had was simply that I bent a prong while installing this unit. And I think in that threw the entire system off. So if you know that you've got the trees right and the connectors right and the terminators right, uh, because each unit has to have its T, each piece of equipment on the system has to have its T. Check your prongs um, for, for installing power to the NEMA 2000. Again, check under your, your dash, your console here, and look for uh, accessory wires that have black and red that you can plug, plug into. That will definitely help out. If those don't exist, you're probably gonna have to run that cord to your, your fuse panel that's over here and you'll have to get some different connectors, maybe a male to female to male piggyback connector uh, to be able to slot on there um, to run one cord in and then slot two more other fuses onto the fuse. You have to get back there and look at it. That's the only way you're gonna be able to do this. Don't be afraid to take that panel off, just kinda ease it out of that socket or that, that part of the fiberglass. Um, look for the connectors that are black and red and you'll be able to do it. If Again, if you need to come up and run to your switch panel, you can do that as well. You know, maybe run wire one wire there. Uh, just, again, go by what you can see. You can also run power to the bat from the battery, which is what I'm doing 
right now. I just got some battery connectors. I went to West Marine and said, hey, I have a 31 AGM battery. These are nylon ring terminals and they're weighted for wire that is 22 to 18. That's what I use to connect this to the battery. The screw is uh, 5 16 or 7.9 millimeters. That's what you're gonna need to connect directly to your battery right there. And I got those from West Marine. I'm sure you can get them from Home Depot. But again, 22 to 18 gauge wire with a 5 16 7.9 millimeter. I just wanted to give you an idea of how to connect your power, how to troubleshoot the NEMA or NEMIA. People call it NEMA, people. Um, the NEMA 2000, so, so that it could help you out. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Y'all have a good one. tool bag that I'm going to be keeping on the boat at all times. Minus the other tool bag. Alrighty y'all, Lou here from Beyond the Bounds. This is channel geared towards, let me look at the camera. And I, I'm still just an idiot. So, so you're doing good. I, I'm, I'm having a hard time at life. Gentlemen, that works. So in short, if you are looking, oh, look at that, more light. Try that out. I think I'm going to work with me here. Just, just point up real fast for the people. For the people, do it for the people. All right. Why is my lighting so jacked? YouTube problems. Ooh, the, hey, she's, she's orienting the right direction. That's good.